Okay, a uh, real quick video on how to UV map uh, an object. And we're going to do a cube in this case. UV mapping is the process of getting a texture, an image, onto a, an object in Blender or in 3D. So uh, we're going to start with a cube and use a cube, actually, for this one. I'm going to do it, uh, give the example of mapping a, a dice, uh, making a die out of a cube. So what we need to do, and I'm going to go real quick, so you might need to pause and rewind if you need to, but I'm going to go quick. There's a thousand steps here, and the more we do it, the more we get used to it, but I'm going to go pretty quick. So I've got a cube here. Uh, my first step is to um, go into edit mode. So I hit tab to go into edit mode. I'm going to grab uh, or click the edge select. I'm going to right click on certain edges. So you can do different edges, but I would do the same ones for now. Right click and hold down shift, and then right click all three of these edges right here. Come around on the top, click both edges. So to pan around, I am doing the middle mouse button, the scroll wheel, clicking and dragging. And then come down the back side, let's see, yep, the back side, both edges, and that should be it. Okay, when I've got those selected, so I'm holding down shift and click right clicking to select them all. Once I've got them selected, I'm going to go to this tab, shading and UVs, and click mark seams. Okay. Then I'm going to, let's see, let's select it all, A to select all, A twice to select it all. I'm going to come up to here to these little markings, these diagonal markings, and I'm going to click and drag out, and that brings up another window here. I'm going to get rid of this menu. I can either click here and get rid of it, or uh, type a T on the keyboard. T toggles that uh, tools menu. Okay, then I'm going to come down here to this button. It's the viewport. I'm going to change it to UV image editor. And then I'm going to come back here and as long as my cursor is in this window, I'm going to type U on the keyboard and unwrap that first option. Unwrap. So what it has done, it has, has wherever I marked the seams, it cut it and unwrapped it and placed it flat over here. That way we can draw on it or put a picture on it and then it maps it on top of it. So what I need to do with this is export it. So I'm going to come down to UVs right here and up to export UV layout. It brings me to my file system. I'm going to choose 3D animation, the folder that I want to save it to, and type uh, whatever the name of it is. Um, last name first, first initial, underscore, cube. Let's see, I'm going to do dice mapping. Dice mapping. And then click UV, ex UV layout, hit enter, and then UV layout. And what that did is it saved it to my files. So now I'm going to go to my documents. I'm just going to hit the start, click the start button and documents. And 3D animation, I'm going to find that image. There it is right there. It's a PNG. So if I right click on it now and open with, I want to open it with paint. It could be any program, but for this simple assignment, we'll just use paint. Um, so let me resize it so you can see it better. Now what I want to do with this is paint a picture, of course. Um, I w I'm going to make it a, a dice, a die. <laughs> and uh, to do that, I'm just going to do a simple circle. So I've got my oval tool. To constrain it to a perfect circle, I'm going to hold down Shift and make about that size of a circle. I'm going to fill it in with a solid color get my paint bucket tool and fill it in just like that. Now I need to select it, so I'm going to get the selection tool. I'm going to select pretty close right around it. And paint is not the best program for this, but it works. So um, I'm going to put on this first one, one of the circles. And then on the next one, so what I'm going to do is copy, control C, and then control V, and it places a uh, pasted version of it and I'm going to put two on the next one just control V the next time put two and I don't know the science behind dice but um, I'm just gonna put them wherever three on the next one I'm just gonna continue to do control V to paste them try and get them in a good lineup put four over here depending on how picky you are how it looks make it look decent but it doesn't have to look perfect unless you want to paste, 
I'm gonna put five over here now. One right in the middle, and then six down on the bottom. Oops. Okay, looks pretty good there. So it's got all of my markings on the die. Now I'm going to save it. It's already been saved. Um, so I'm just gonna come up here and click save. And then minimize it. Get that out of the way. Go back to Blender. Now what I want to do, you need to be in Cycles Render, so I'm going to change this to Cycles. And I'm going to go to my Materials tab up here. Um, if it says Use Nodes, click that. And where, there, where I can change a color, I'm not going to change the color. I'm going to click, click for over here on the little dot for more options. And I want an image texture. That way it gives me this option to go look for an image. So I will do that. Click Open. Go back to your folder where you saved it. And there it is right there. Double click on it. And one last thing, if I need to come down here to my window, click right here and find that image. And then when I put it on there, it'll fit right on there perfectly because I exported this layout and then in, and now I'm importing it back in. And if I come over here, if I render it, it will show up, but also if I click this and go up to materials, it will give me a preview of what it looks like. So I can also render it and there's my cube, uh, my die. So that's how you UV map. It will get easier as you do it more and more and more.